Sometimes fuses just break or melt down for no particular reason, just because nothing lasts forever. And then you lose some of the functionality of all of your electronics in a vehicle. Replacing a fuse is inexpensive and takes only a few seconds, but where are your fuses? and which is the one that you need to replace. In this video, I'll help you answer both of those. I'm gonna use this Mitsubishi Lancer 2006 for show and tell, but by and large, the same principles apply to all cars for all kinds of makes and models, especially so that fuses aren't made by Mitsubishi or Ford or Nissan. Fuses are made by fuse manufacturers to exacting international standards and manufacturers of vehicles just use the existing fuses. So, the principles of electrical engineering is also not invented by the manufacturers, so the principles will apply broadly. There are two locations for fuses. One is for the passenger compartment, usually, and another one is in the engine compartment. I really don't have an answer why there are two locations for the fuses in the engine compartment away from a source of heat usually there is an electrical corner with much plastic one of them is a fuse box fuse box has a lid that snaps together I've loosened this one so I can do this with one hand and you'll find fuses underneath ranging from 50 amps and really heavy cables and to lighter seven and a half amp or smaller fuses and anything anything in between these are your fuses these little things there are also relays in place those are also fuses slash relays and you also have those ones so this is a relay box and I'm gonna need two hands to align the lids and properly put them back together sometimes you get a warning label hot surface do not touch when the vehicle is in operation not three hours after it stopped on a fuse box a couple of things you don't want to put any kind of tools across it or on top of it or drop any screwdriver or anything into it because if you look at it here is one cable coming out here being bolted down here another one being bolted down there and there is a 60 amp fuse between the two of them you really don't want to sh short circuit these with a screwdriver bit or a something a handle of a pliers or some such thing so when you are looking for your fuse just look for it empty-handed put your car keys where they belong in the ignition slot or in in your pocket okay don't put anything here or your coffee here or anything that can spill into it it's gonna be a really really bad day for you because not only you have to replace everything here but probably you fry the ECU the vehicles computer possibly multiple computers so inside the lid usually there is a some information about the fuses what's wired in this is ECU information there some of them look like low beam headlights high beam headlights fairly straightforward uh, there's a musical note there for number 23 it could be for the horn it could be for the door open chime or headlight left on chime we don't know there isn't enough information here on that so the obvious things are obvious that's the symbol for the transmission that's for the hazard flashing light it, it's a 10 amp fuse and its location is spot 13 but where is spot 13 you kind of have to put the map together with the location indicated here so you have to count 6 25 7 8 9 I don't know why so that would be 6 25 7 8 9 until you get to location 13 or whatever the case be for finding the one that's uh, that's in the circuit that works with the hazard flashing lights so that's one fuse box here with some information and the other fuse box on this particular vehicle but in all vehicles somewhere underneath the steering column you just have to look in this Mitsubishi's case good luck looking because you can't see anything all you see is the floor matte material and then there is nothing but the clever people 
here at the desk there is a small coin holder here which removes like this it just snaps in place and there is more fuse information here on this one which belongs to a secondary fuse box and there is a fuse puller and a spare fuse here that's uh, looking like a 20 amp fuse so the fuse box is behind it I know there isn't a whole lot of light on it but there is enough for you to see all of those fuses there similar in appearance so let me just get the fuse puller out of the box and I'll show you how this fuse puller works here quickly so the some of the fuse locations like the instrument panel lights are spot number two and this is a map that corresponds to the fuse locations there I'm gonna pull a fuse here where it's easy and I can fit easily say let's try to pull this one with the hazard flashing light it, there's gonna be four and five or the 30 amp and the 40 amp so that's a 30 amp and the 40 amp and there is a 15 14 13 which is this one this one and this one so this red one I'm looking at here 10 amps it's a 10 amp fuse there because 10 20 15 10 20 15 so to pull the fuse that belongs to the hazard flashing light that needs to be pulled out and this is how flawless fuse looks like with the wire in it intact if it's not broken in the middle there it's fine now this should disable my hazard flashing light which it does then if I put the fuse back it should be back to fully functional it can be this way or this way it really doesn't matter as long as it's in the right spot and I usually push it in place like so to make sure it has really good solid electrical contact and I'm gonna save this fuse puller there and let's see the result oh yeah fully functional a better resource can be of course a wiring diagram and for this Mitsubishi Lancer I'm going to include the 300 a link to this 300 page document and I just pulled out this one here they call it a junction box this one is in the engine compartment and the, and this is how it looks like it's describing there is spot number 13 or spot number 20 and it's describing what else instead of a simple picture it's describing what else is wired in to one particular fuse so usually a whole lot of things sometimes it's just one thing like the hazard light or the starter motor but often many things are coupled together like clock with something and something okay and that would be 23 oh ignition switch I say that's important so fuse location number 23 so this is the engine bay fuse box and this one here is just one page on this other fuse box underneath uh, the steering column there in the in the passenger compartment and it has these are some other connectors and some other diagrams in this 300 page document describes what those are and these are the fuse locations those are other relays and other connectors uh, these are other relays connector 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 so plugs in with lots of wires leading to it everything is described and here is some representative sample there many things are on the same circuit and uh, so all of these are affected if one fuse blows or burns out sometimes it's just a single item on one fuse some but often you can see it's many so that's where the fuses are in general and uh, I'm gonna 
include this 300 page document link that's where you can find way more information exactly to know exactly which fuse is to be replaced